Hi, it's Cynthia and Lisa, <laughs> and we're here for Thursdays with Culture Talk. Um, today, we want to tell you two things. One is that we have one more chance in 2021 to join us for Culture Talk certification, and it's starting October 14th. And the second thing we want to share is why come to certification. One reason that people join us for certification is they're looking for tools that will help them make culture tangible. What do we mean make culture tangible? Well, I can tell you one thing that we don't mean. Um, I ran across an article, a headline from Business Insider this week, and it says the golden age of Silicon Valley's iconic perks is over. Oh, oh, too bad. And, and I think that's probably a good thing because while, you know, all of these lists of perks that we've been hearing about for years made people kind of really uh, desire having a job at one of these big tech companies, it distorted the idea of what culture was really all about because a list of perks are just symptoms. They're very surface level. Mm. They hide what's really happening perhaps underneath the surface. And that's really where the culture lives. So in order to, um, you know, do to really understand culture, you have to move beyond the perks because otherwise you're just missing the boat. Right. Right. And I do think in many ways we have moved beyond that in that leaders today recognize that this thing we call culture is very important. They hear employees talking about wanting to work with a culture that's aligned. They hear about you need to, you know, use your culture to recruit. Um, it, it gels the, the whole company together. But still, how? How do you do that? How do you make what's deeper and beneath the surface? How do you make it tangible? Here are the five steps that we use at Culture Talk. Step number one, to make culture tangible, you need a framework. You need a way of talking about it, a language. That's the work we do with archetypes. Yep. And with that language, you have the opportunity to measure. So data is really important. Mm -hmm. Step two. Step two is to measure. So when you measure the culture using archetypes, you now understand how are we showing up? What are the patterns and the behaviors and the beliefs that keep repeating themselves over and over again here? So step number two is to measure. Step three, if you, you have to scale it. If you measure something and you don't do anything with it, then employees like are rolling their eyes, right? They're saying, oh, we've oh, done this before, we're gonna on. right? We're going to check the box and move on. You need to think about what are you going to do once you understand what the culture is? You've measured it. You've created a profile. Now, how are you going to start to build strategy and operationalize the culture across, you know, the ecosystem of the organization and even across the talent life cycle? How are you going to recruit, hire, retain, engage, merge, grow, evolve, shift using this cultural profile? All right. So now that you have operationalized it, step number four is to sustain it. Mm. You need to be able to consistently apply this culture profile to all aspects. And when challenges come up, you need to be able to get a clear understanding of how things are done around here. And the, the language and the framework um, needs to be brought forward throughout uh, challenging and exciting opportunities. And step five, share it. I think step five happens quite naturally if you've done one, two, three, and four, because employees and stakeholders in an organization, they want to share um, what's happening in the culture and how they're a part of it. And Archetypes is a super user-friendly way to do that because it's storytelling. So when we know our story and our story is consistently told and it's part of how we think and live and breathe and grow, um, it gives us something that we want to talk about and share. And that in itself, you know, attracts more people into the conversation. So those are our five steps for making culture tangible. 
And if you'd like to speak to either one of us about how you can be trained um, to apply those steps and bring them into your client companies or into your organization, please reach out. Uh, we'd love to set up a one-on-one -on -one with you. And uh, we'll put a link below the post with uh, information about our certification and the ability to join us in October. We'd love to see you. Awesome. Thanks.